Hi there, welcome to my new Illustrator tutorial. My name is Andre Kröger from Dagubi. In this tutorial I would like to show you how to create this compass rose. Ok, I start with a new layer. Now choose the ellipse tool, none fill and black stroke and set the stroke to two points. Hold the shift key and create a new circle like this. Now we need some copies of this circle. Please go to Effects, Distort and Transform and click on Transform. So enable the preview. Now we need five copies and set the scale to 90% and 90% and click OK. Now go to the align and click on horizontal align and vertical align. OK. So now select the circles and click on expand appearance and click on ungroup. So next create a new layer and choose the rectangle tool and create a new rectangle. Hold the shift key. So now rotate this rectangle to 45 degree. Go to view and enable the smart guys. So now choose the direct selection tool. Oh sorry. Go to the stroke stroke panel and change the align stroke to inside. OK, now with the direct selection tool, please move this rectangle and bring it to center. Yes, the center from this circle is exactly here on this place. OK, next with the direct selection tool, click on this point and move it up like this. And the rectangle, change the fill color to white. So next, make a copy from this new shape and change this shape to black fill and none stroke. Select this right point and click on this remove selected anchor points. So next step we need to make copies from these shapes. Select both shapes and group it. Ob objects group. Now select this group and go to Effects, Distort and Transform and click on Transform. We need three copies by 90 degree. Click the preview and now click on this little point. OK. OK, we need a copy from this group. Drag it down to the New Layers button and now go to Objects and click on Expand Appearance. With the Transform tool, you can rotate it, rotate it to 45 degree and transform it smaller. Please hold the Shift in the Alt key. OK, so now we need to transform the circles. Select this circle and transform it bigger. Hold the Alt and the Shift key. 
this circle, make it smaller. So now go and change the white of the strokes. Four points and make this <coughs> four points. Okay, I scale this three circles a little bigger. Okay, next I'm going to add the scale around the rows. Create a new layer. And now first create a rectangle. Hold the shift key. None stroke and black fill. Move this layer up. And now make a copy, hold the Alt key, and rotate this rectangle to 45 degree, and place it on center. The center of the circles is exactly here. So next. Select this and scale it very small. And move this shape up on this place. And scale it a little bit smaller. So next, make a copy from this rectangle, hold the Alt key and the Shift key, place it here on this place and scale it smaller. Now go to Effects, Trans Distort and Transform and click on Pucker and Load. Enable the preview and click OK. So now scale it a little bit smaller. And now go to Objects and click on Expand Appearance. So now select this group and go to Effects Distort and Transform and click on Transform. Now we need a 15 degree and we need 29 copies. Click on Preview and click on this little point here and click OK. Make this shape, this shape a little bit smaller. Yes, that's okay. Now create, uh, make a copy from this group and delete this shape and move this shape up zoom in now 
with the direct selection tool, select please only these two points and move it down. Now scale this shape a little bit bigger, like this, OK. So next make a copy from this shape, this group, and now move this shape up, scale it a little bit smaller, so now We need a little bit more lines. Click on this sort transform transform. Oh sorry. Go to this appearance panel and click on transform. Now set the angle to five degree and we need now eighty nine copies. Click preview. That's OK. And we change this group. Click again on transform and set the angle to 10 degree and we need 59 copies. That's OK. So next I'm going to add some circles in the center of this rows. Create a new layer on first place here. Choose the ellipse tool and create new circle. Hold the spacebar and you can move this circle. Okay. So now Change the color, black stroke in white fill. Set the stroke to two points or three. Now click the align button, center and center. So now create a copy and scale. this circle smaller okay now change fill to black and stroke to white so next i'm going to make a copy from this scale yes Make a copy. Now m move this new group on this place. Now select only this shape and move it down. And scale this shape. And move it down, OK. Select this shape and scale it a little bit smaller. Yes, that's good. Select this group and scale it a little bit bigger. Move these two points here and select these two points and move it down. OK.
Okay, next I'm going to add the type around the rows. We need this circle. Make a copy of them and scale it bigger. So now go and choose the type on the path tool and click on this path. The character is Times New Roman, bold and 48 points. Now you can write North, East, South and West. With the selection tool you can move these lines. OK, and now you can change this so. Now we'll make a copy from this layer and right north east east south southwest and west north OK, select this layer and now with the free transform tool and the shift, the alt key, scale it smaller and rotate it to 45 degree and enable the other type layer. Now it's finished. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, please press thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to see more of my tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Hope to see you soon.